cool would it be to add your own photos and memories to your yearbook? With Peekaboo Yearbooks or Milestone Yearbooks, you can do just that. After you order your yearbook, if your school has enabled personalized pages, then you'll have until the deadline to design up to 12 pages with your own photos, text, and layouts. You'll get the first four pages for just $5 total. You can also purchase up to an additional eight pages at $1.50 per page. After you've designed and submitted your pages and you receive the printed yearbook, flip to the back and find your personalized pages. This is a great way to make the yearbook truly your own with stories, photos, and memories. Here's how to get started with designing your personalized pages. After you have ordered your yearbook, return to the online store and sign in. If your school has personalized pages enabled, then you'll see a button called Edit Personalized Pages. Below the button is the deadline when you'll need to have your pages finalized by. We'll show you how to finalize in a few minutes, but first, let's design the pages. Click on Edit Personalized Pages. From here, you will see the names you entered at checkout when you ordered your yearbook or yearbooks. You can change the name and grade if you need by clicking Edit Name or Grade. The name and grade will be printed on a label attached to the book so the personalized yearbook can get to the correct person when it's delivered. Above the name is the status of the pages for this person. Before you begin designing your pages, be sure you are on a laptop or desktop computer as the page editor is not made for mobile devices. Click Edit Pages. This will open the page designer. Remember to always keep important information like text or faces away from the dashed line. This is where the page will be trimmed in the printing process, so be sure to keep things a comfortable distance away from this line. Personalized pages always start with a right side page. Click the arrow on the right to advance to the next page. Click it again to advance to the last available page. You start with four pages. To add more, click Add Pages. This will add the pages in increments of two. You can have a total of 12 personalized pages. You can also use the Pages panel at the bottom of the screen to navigate between pages. Also, at the bottom of the screen is where you start adding photos. Click the Photos panel and then click Add Photos. Here, you can choose from a number of sources, including your computer. Drag photos from your computer or click on a photo source and choose the photos you want to upload. Once the photos are uploaded, they will appear at the bottom of the screen. Drag and drop a photo onto a page. To resize a photo, drag any of the corner handles. If a photo is not proper quality for printing, then a red exclamation mark will appear in the center of the photo. If this is the case for one of your photos, then decrease the size of the photo until the warning is removed or replace the photo with a better quality one. There are two ways you can crop a photo. The first way is by dragging the side, top, or bottom handles. The other way is to click the crop and position tool on the left. Use the slider to zoom the photo in or out, and then click and drag the photo into position. To rotate a photo, drag the long handle at the top or use the rotate buttons on the left. To flip a photo, use the mirror horizontally or mirror vertically buttons. You can move photos forward or backward, in front or behind other objects using the send forward or backward arrows. To swap two photos on a page, click the first photo, then click the swap button, and then click the second photo. The two photos will swap places. You can also add a drop shadow, a stroke or border, change the opacity, crop the photo to fit a certain shape, add rounded quarters, or add embellished corners. Add a filter or adjust the color of the photo by clicking the filter slash adjust button on the left. Here you can choose from an array of preset filters or adjust various controls such as brightness and exposure. You don't have to start from scratch with your page layout. Choose from our library of pre-made layouts to get started. Click the layouts panel on the left. Here, you can browse the available layouts. Click Filter Layouts to view the layouts by the number of photos in a layout. Find the layout you like and drag it onto your page. 
Then drag your photos from the bottom of the screen into the empty boxes in the layout. Add some color with a background. Click the backgrounds panel on the left. To pick a solid color, click the page background color picker. To choose a design for your background, click on find backgrounds. Here you can search by entering a keyword or keywords into the text box. From the results that appear in the center pane, click on a background to preview it on the right. From the right pane, you can choose to apply the background to the left, right, both, or all of the pages. Now let's add a headline to the page. Start by clicking on the Elements panel on the left. Drag the text button onto the page. Click the text box that appears and begin typing. To style the text, select all or part of the text. From the controls that appear below, you can adjust the font, the size, bold, italics, or underline, depending on the chosen font, the alignment, and the color. To choose a color from an existing photo or other element on the page, click the eyedropper button. Then with your mouse, click on the color you want to sample. To adjust the width of the text box, drag the left or right handles. To rotate the text box, drag the long handle at the top. With text, you can also choose a background color of the text box, apply a drop shadow, apply a stroke or outline, and adjust the text spacing. You may also add shapes and lines to the page. Click the elements panel from the left and drag the line button to the page. Or click shapes. Here, you can browse the available shapes, then drag the one you want onto the page. Shapes and lines can also be customized. Also from the Elements panel is pre-made art for you to add to your layout. Click Art, and then click Find Art. Enter a keyword or keywords to search the library. Click Apply Art to add it to your page. or drag and drop from the left panel. If you need to zoom in or out of the page, click the zoom menu from the top right. At any time, you can exit the editor and come back. Just remember to come back and finalize before the deadline. When you are finished designing your pages, Remember to check spelling and check that all photos look correct. After you have reviewed your pages, click Finalize and Submit in the top right corner. From here, you'll enter your payment information and click Place Order. If you started designing pages but did not finalize and submit, then the pages will not be printed in your yearbook. Once your personalized pages are finalized and submitted, you will not be able to make changes. If you must make changes before the deadline, Go back to the store and click on Unfinalized to make changes. Remember to finalize and submit again or the pages will not be printed. If you need to order more copies of this yearbook that include the personalized pages, then come back to the store and click Order Another below the person's finalized pages. When the yearbook is printed, your copy or copies will include your personalized pages in the back. Thanks for watching.